Welcome to our weekend reading for Saturday and Sunday, January 28th and 29th, 2017. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave or ignoring the wave. Also feel free to make this an interactive video if you wanna pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the musical playlist below. See if there's some personal depth signs for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the music. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I love you so much. I'll see you in a moment for the reading. Hi, welcome to our weekend reading for Saturday and Sunday, January 28th and 29th, 2017. Let's begin and see what kind of energy is coming on through for our weekend. We're going to start with the Tarot of Dreams. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for the highest, greatest good of all. Let's get clarity and focus on the energies coming through for the weekend and wisdom for us all to ride these energies next. Let's begin with one card and get a nice focus and a foundation to our weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, the 28th and 29th of January, 2017. continuing the weekend with the hermit. So this came through for Friday. It's about turning on your own inner light. You're still trying to find some you time this weekend. This energy is still coming through. So it's about your own solutions, your own uh, direction, your own focus, your own decisions here. What you want to do about something, how you feel about something. It could be the spiritual teacher coming through. So this could be a mentor, a teacher, um, an elder, an associate, a friend, somebody coming through to help you figure out what to do on your own. So this person isn't going to tell you what to do. They're going to kind of point you in the right direction and maybe point out what the wrong direction was, where the wrong direction came into play somewhere. So I would say it's helpful advice. If this advice is coming through from somebody else, it might be perhaps a little hard, a little hard to hear if it's hitting something sensitive, but I feel like it's for your own good. It's to get you in the right direction to help you see something and make the right decision. So you're not stuck somewhere. I'm getting like stuck in the mud. So um, if this is you giving advice to somebody else, I feel like it's you just guiding someone along, you know, pointing them in the right direction. It could be by example, you know, just sort of not saying anything and just doing what you have to do you know, for you, for the whole situation, but in, I'm getting silence. So, um, I just heard silence from Sarah McLaughlin. I put that in the playlist yesterday, but there's other versions. Maybe I'll find a different version or maybe something from that remix album and put it below. Um, that was a pretty good remix, the first remix album of hers. So um, which one is Rabbit in the Moon? Rabbit in the Moon is the one coming through. So I'm not sure which one that is, but I'll put that below. Um, this could be a Virgo energy, um, a loner energy, an independent energy. It's also coming through to tell you to not be such a loner. You know, it could be finding um, companionship. I'm getting comfortable 
where you're comfortable, where you feel good, where you feel like you're at home, whether that be uh, a relative's house, a friend's house, um, a familiar spot for you. I'm getting that space for you again. So your own corner, your own nook. Um, I'm getting maybe cleaning out your car, maybe cleaning out something on the move. Maybe you're going towards uh, uh, like somewhere where you can have some alone time. So maybe you have to get out of the environment you're in now and go somewhere else. I'm even getting like a short trip out of town, out of the city, maybe even into the city. I see a museum, maybe just walking around something like a museum by yourself, maybe uh, someplace sort of public, but on your own, or maybe with somebody else that you feel good with. You can sort of just walk around and be sort of just chill, silent, uh, you know, nothing stressful here. It's sort of relaxing energy. Just I'm getting taking a walk, um, doing something different, taking it outside, getting out of the house, um, maybe retreating. Um, I'm getting changing your mind on something. Maybe you need to change your mind or you feel like there is something changing and your perception is changing too. Or you need to allow some room on this change or this perceptional change, this something coming through that you see something different, you're seeing a different light, you're seeing a different part of the map. I'm getting a different section of the wall, you know, uh, being uh, like lighting up. I just heard a uh, common um, put, come through. I'll put that below, um, lights, the light song. Uh, I can't think of the title. I think it's lights. I'll put it below. Um, the spiritual teacher, the hermit, the Virgo. Number nine, completion. Completing something up so you, so you can move towards that new beginning, a new promise, a new start. Um, it's a new moon coming up. So you have to figure out what you want to plant, you know, what you want to grow, what you want to start, what nugget of wisdom that's come through for you feels like it's worth continuing with, um, putting in the ground, putting in the soil, putting, uh, I'm getting like, uh, nutrition and loving energy and like you're taking care of something. Um, so what is there that's an idea, a new relationship, something that's a new start or, or a new perception on something you had that you feel like going back to giving a little extra attention to is it something in your own world for yourself? Is it something for somebody else? And you just need some you time to figure out what that is, how to go about that situation. Um, give something a rest, walk away, give something space. So um, there's, uh, I'm getting an easier exchange of ener energy. So if there is like, a, uh, I'm getting friction somewhere in your world with someone, someone specific or a certain area at your job, uh, with your family, something coming through where there's friction, maybe just give it some space, you know, allow something to settle um, on its own, maybe away from you or you away from that and come back when you're ready, when you feel like you've gained your own clarity, you put your light on yourself, when you're thinking straight yourself um, and then go back to that situation. Um, I'm just getting a gentle guiding energy. So, um, Let's continue. Let's see what else is coming through for the hermit. I'm also getting solitude, you know, your own space, uh, feeling content with you, perhaps with having nothing to do. I'm just getting not worrying about things and issues and plans and stress so much. So maybe just find a space for you where you can let that go. Meditation, you know, um, maybe there's a day this weekend you can go to bed a little early or take a nap, or um, go on a walk, you know, by yourself, do something for you um, that feels good for you. I'm even getting exercise, so active meditation. Sometimes that comes through as creation, being creative, doing something with your hands. If you're sort of itchy and physical, or you have some extra energy somewhere and you don't know where to put it, but you need to do something on your own, perhaps, perhaps do something like I'm getting knitting, you know, or cross stitch or painting or music, practicing something, um, uh, writing, you know, reading something like that. That's active, but, uh, 
maybe inspirational for you or um, I'm getting a rhythm with something like knitting. Um, it could be uh, physical, you know, doing something physical. I'm getting like a bicycle or walking or something like that where you can still sort of allow yourself some space to clear your head and figure something out and know what you have to do, you know. Um, I'm getting what's good for you, how you feel about something, how you feel about something, not how everybody else feels. I feel like you need to come back to you here, you know. Um, get your own space back somewhere. So let's continue. Let's get a card from the... Uh, Archangel Power Tarot, and let's get clarity for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, on the Hermit. Um, also paying attention to your own insights, your own intuition, your own inner guidance here. This is the way through. Um, even if that inner guidance brings you towards a new relationship, um, a new friend, um, somebody to talk to. I'm hearing like open up to. Trust your own inner guidance on what to open up with, to whom you should open up to and what to hold back. And trust you'll know your way through. Um, you'll, I'm getting you'll feel it in your stomach. So the right way, the wrong way, and the easy way. You know, um, I'm getting heart chakra. Also opening up, maybe being a little a little bit vulnerable in a situation, uh, having something, I'm getting delicate, something sort of gentle. I'm seeing like the gentle cycle. Like I see silk, um, silk, I want to say silk and like satin and lace, like delicate fabrics all of a sudden. I don't know. This is like mosquito net, but I guess something sort of light. Um, maybe you're, you're airing something out. Um, uh, stretching be uh, beyond the veil of something, but it takes going inside of you to understand what's out there that you don't quite see or don't quite feel or don't quite understand and bring it back to you so that makes more sense. I'm getting clues with your own like synchronicities, your own uh, beyond coincidences that happen for you, the things that reoccur for you. Uh, follow that. You know, I'm getting even... A reoccurring idea so if you keep thinking that you should do something sign up for something teach something uh, do something a different way and you don't get to it but that idea keeps popping on back maybe pay attention to what keeps popping if it feels good and like, grab hold of it and see what it's all about see where it takes you and see if that's one of those seeds that you have to plant in the earth or in your environment in your world inside of you and let it grow and see what it becomes you know it's a new moon so it's a new start it's a beginning you don't know what's gonna become yet but you have to start you have to see what you need to begin and go with it you know let something begin you know allow something to happen uh, nurture something but allow a freedom for it to grow don't smother something is what I'm getting all right so let's get another car Clarity on the Hermit for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And here we go. This is really nice to come through. It's the Knight of Ariel, so that's like the Knight of Pentacles. Male or female, this could be you, this could be somebody you know coming through to be really helpful to you, a good companion, you know, someone you have fun with, someone who's funny, who isn't, doesn't make everything feel like it's such hard work. Even if it's hard work, it feels better with this person or you're starting to feel better about all that hard work because it feels like it's going to get somewhere, like it's going to go somewhere, like it's finally going to do something that you feel good like about you feel good on this horse I always feel like this is a big Clydesdale horse like a big work horse like they're not gonna stop they can get it done I just saw a bull so maybe a Taurus energy it could also be a Taurus a Virgo or Capricorn energy this night is a little bit slower 
than the other knights. They don't do everything in a rush. They take their time. They get off the horse and they pray. They get off the horse and they have a picnic. They take a nap. You know, they have a conversation. They take some time off. And when they work, they work. They get it done. When there's a problem, they figure out a solution rather than run it over and have it be a bigger problem later. They take time to figure something out properly and they do it the right way. So in the end, they might not be the quickest to get to their goal, but they're the, the knight that's going to always get there. For sure, you'll get there if you plant this seed right. It's yours. It's special for you. This could be somebody coming into your world this weekend that understands how special something actually is to you. And they're on board with you. Maybe not the whole time, but when you need that helping hand, when you need some advice, when you need some support, they're there to help you. This is really nice. It's also advice and wisdom for us, for you, coming through to do something the right way. From the beginning, from the start, deal with everything as it comes. Understand there are seasons. There are winds of change that happen. There are monkey wrenches that get thrown into the mix. And there are blessing, uh, lessons in, um, um, blessings in the lessons. That was a tongue twister. So there's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by somebody kind. So do it the right way. You know, sit down, talk something through, have a good conversation, review the details. You know, if you have to hold off, you know, if your gut says hold off on something and just wait till you figure something out first or you move something around first or you get some help first or you clear something away first, then follow that feeling. Follow your instinct. Follow your intuition, you know. Follow your higher self here. There's always a nice balance with this night. You know, what, what your higher self is uh, moving you towards the bigger picture of something, even if you can't see it right in front of you. And then recognizing what's right in front of you that you can actually do in your actual environment. And then doing that. Taking care of that. Um, trustworthy, understand it, understanding, devoted, and funny. Um, I just heard a stinker. And then I, and then I saw the horse. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, it just reminds me, sometimes the horses just randomly fart when you're on them. So, or like just have to stop and poop. So, you know, like sometimes you just need to take a break. You just need to like take a break. You know, you also have to like, when I see the horse here, I, I think of instinct and like really like sinking into something and just having it be in sync with you. The horse also makes me think of an animal that's meant to move with the earth meant to move with the changes. If you're out in the woods, you might not get over that tree that falls down with that fancy four-wheeler, but if you have a horse, you could jump over that sucker, you know? You can get across the pond. You don't have to worry about the contraptions and the gizmos so much, as long as you got a good headlight. You know, good headlight, good boots, a good saddle, or maybe you're doing it bareback, you know? Work with what you got, but you have something here that's very helpful to help you work with what you got. So you got a lot going on here, do it the right way. Let's get one more card for the weekend. This is different. I'm gonna end with the Winged Enchantment Oracle Deck, all birds. Um, let's get clarity on the Knight of Ariel, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Earth, the Hermit number nine, you time, you space, good decisions, um, good friends, helpful people around you that understand you, that let you be you. That's also what's coming through here. This is finding people around you that are just comfortable with you being you and you feel comfortable with them. That's pretty nice. Um, I just heard a stinker again. So maybe this person has a, I'm getting like a funny personality or they're just a trip to be with. Like you have a good time with them. Maybe you get each other. You just get each other, something like that. Or maybe you just need to start to go back to what you like, you know, and it starts with, it starts there. I'm getting a project or something that you've been thinking about and getting it going. And then when you're out, you're talking about something that you're getting going and that just brings this connection in because you're excited about something for real and not just, oh, I think I wanted to do that and I want to become a this, but you're not really into it because you're not doing it. 
So figure out what you want to actually do and start and pursue and start there. And if this helpful energy isn't on board yet, you know, be a help to yourself and this will come. It will come through. It starts with maybe some signs um, inside of you, you know, doing something you want to pursue, you're actually into. Um, like you want to get off the horse and get in the dirt, you know, just be a part of something. All right, so let's, oh, I just heard what uh, Beautiful Mess by Jason Mraz. Um, picking up trash and dresses. Kind of hurts when the kind of words you write. That one, I'll put it below. All right, let's get one more card for the weekend. Clarity on the Knight of Ariel and the Hermit. Oh, that's cool. That's the dove coming through. So number eight, this puts you back in power. It's also a release. It's peace. It's, I get the mother's milk here. Um, so a motherly energy, um, a peaceful energy. I'm getting nutrition, like milk energy coming through. I also see the sun and children, feathers. Maybe feathers and the uh, the nautilus shell. So a feminine viewpoint on something. Looking around your situation at the entire perspective, not just at that direct approach. Make sure your map, your plan, your details involve uh, the whole perspective and not just one way of getting there. There might be another way around something. Um, let's see. Eight dove is I am dove peace of alignment. I am feminine. I am sensitive to my surroundings. I am the nourishment, that's cool, of the earth as the gentleness of her instinct. I am the calm after the storm. I am hope and harvest. I am embellishment of harmony and the sacrifice necessary to nurture what has been created. You are at peace now and brimming with compassion. You are in love with life. I am the enjoyment of family connection. I am the safety of united community. This is not the time to fly solo, but rather to seek out kindred spirits. I am the gathering of liked minds. I am the cov coven. I am the serenity of kin. I am group mind and structure. Merge your energies with others and watch what unfolds. There is great power in collaboration. There is profound wisdom within the whole. You are engaging life. You are embracing peace. You are aligning with others. You are dove. So perhaps there was enough of the cave time or after you find that alone time, that time in your cave to find something out, it's time to get out there. It's time to do something about what you figured out in there and show everyone that beautiful light you got going on because it's ready to be a bigger light. It's ready to be something planted into something beautiful and blossoming and abundant in your world, you know, but I want to say there are power in numbers, you know, sometimes it just takes reaching out there and seeing that you're not alone in something, you know, perhaps you're not the only one that had to go alone into a cave or alone into a situation, perhaps. You know, somehow we're all working through this together. All right, guys, I love you so much. I hope this was helpful for the weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.